What up? This is Ramash King covering movies, TV, and entertainment in his my review of Netflix new animated series, My Dad, The Bounty Hunter. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this entire new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Alright, let's get right to it. This show is freaking awesome! My Dad the Bounty Hunter is cool, it's adventurous, it's action-packed, and the best part of it all is that the story is engaging, wholesome family fun. Very well written and with lots of heart. This is the kind of sci-fi animated series that anybody of any age can enjoy. The family dynamics are also very well thought out. Once the kids find out about their dad's secret job, they start learning the ropes as they go, and then their journey becomes a much bigger crusade. Meanwhile, their dad is just doing the best he could to make sure they're safe, which is harder to do when you're out in the universe with danger at every turn. None of these episodes feel like a filler or a needless detour, and none of them drags either. There's never a single boring moment. The pacing and the tone are on point and upbeat. And it's also got plenty of exciting explosive surprises, especially nearing the end. I'm telling you, by the time it hits episode 10, this show leaves me wanting more. Created by Everett Downing and Patrick Harpin, My Dad the Bounty Hunter is an animated action comedy series following close-knit siblings Lisa and Sean, who stow away on their dad's latest work trip hoping to finally get some quality time together. Little do they know, Dad's been keeping a secret from them. He's actually the toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy. Launched into the surprise space adventure of a lifetime, Lisa and Sean discover that their seemingly average dad's job is anything but boring. Dodging dangerous aliens, robots, and laser fights galore, family bonding time becomes much more than they bargain for, as they try to help their dad in pursuit of his toughest fugitive yet. With his kids along for the ride, dad must show up for them when they need it most, and they'd better make it home before mom finds out. My Dad the Bounty Hunter is a warp speed adventure across the constellation of ups, downs, and moments in between that shape family life. Voice starring Laz Alonso, Yvonne Orji, Pryor Ferguson, Yvette Nicole Brown, Jacoby Swain, Leslie Ugams, Rob Riggle, Jim Rash, and Jamie Chung. So there are a total of 10 episodes in this first season. Each runs about 22 minutes. And one of the things that I appreciate the most is that the show does not waste a single precious minute. The period it takes between the kids not knowing what's up to knowing what's up doesn't take long. And then the ball keeps rolling and the momentum keeps going. And whatever commotion that happens to them, no matter how far they go out into space, they never do it at the cost of the overarching theme of My Dad the Bounty Hunter, which is the parent-children relationship that's grounded and relatable. Especially the episode where they enter that intergalactic Disneyland. <laughs> it may seem like a head-scratcher at first, but I would argue that it's the show's most pivotal point. It's this eternal debate that can resonate with every parent and their kid. This battle of I know what's best for you versus maybe my kids can do more than what I give them credit for. So the give and take between them, in addition to the elaborate, well-sequenced space action, make for an exhilarating show that the whole family can have a blast with. Now, I'm not sure which animation studio did the work on this one, but they did an outside-the-box imaginative job. The quality of the looks and the character designs can definitely compete with your standard Disney CG movies. I mean, not too shabby for a streaming service episodic show, you know what I'm saying? My Dad the Bounty Hunter rounded up an excellent group of stars to voice the characters, including Laz Alonso, Rob Riggle, Yvette Nicole Brown, and one of my favorite voice actors in the business, Carrie Walgren, all of whom did a wonderful job of balancing the action and the PG heartfelt humor. 
Ooh, and without giving too much away, the final episode will remind you of The Incredibles. I mean, not sure if that's what they were intentionally aiming for or if they were purposely emulating it, but that's definitely the vibe that it's giving off, and that's a positive thing. So yeah, if you can spare some time out of your busy day, I mean, you don't have to binge the whole thing in one sitting, just go at your own pace. But I promise you that you will not regret watching my dad the bounty hunter.